Thoroughbred Week with John Henderson is presented by Actistat, Adina Springs, Bloodstock Research, Breeders Cup, Claiborne Farm, EmpireCityBets.com, Equine Eco Green, Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, Keeneland, Malone's, New York Thoroughbred Breeding and Development Fund, Old Colony Insurance Services, Paul Miller Ford, PBI Bank, Quillen Leather and Tack, Shadwell Farm, Spendthrift Farm, and Windstar Farm. Hello everyone and welcome to Thoroughbred Week, featuring grade one stakes action from opening weekend at Keeneland, including a determined victory by two-time Horse of the Year Wise Dan in the track's first million dollar race. We begin with the grade one Santa Anita Sprint Championship, featuring 2013 Breeders' Cup winners Golden Sense and Secret Circle. Golden Sense, the four to five favorite, Trevor Denman picks up the call. Golden Sense now moves up to make it four in a line with three eights to go. Secret Circle down at the rail. Between horses in Dexical and Kenny Hill in the black cap. On the far side, Golden Sense going to have to go furthest of all, but four of them in a line. And Rich Tapestry now waiting for room. Any one of the five could win at top of the lane, and Golden Sense strikes the front. Rich Tapestry is now pulled to the outside. Golden Sense got first run and kicked away, but Rich Tapestry is finishing gamely along the inside. It's Golden Sense and Rich Tapestry running for the wire together. Rich Tapestry is catching him. Golden Sense, Rich Tapestry, a nose bob. Hong Kong based Rich Tapestry rallies from last to take the photo by a nose over Golden Sense. Olivier Deleuze, the winning jockey in 107 and 2, a 104 brisk speed rating. A group stakes winner in Dubai earlier this year and a close second in the Group 1 Dubai Golden Shaheen, the Irish-bred six-year-old gelding by Holy Roman Emperor was making his U.S. debut at his first start off a five-month layoff. The winner is trained by C.W. Chang but will remain at Santa Anita with Leonard Powell. Rich Tapestry has banked $1,450,000. Darby Dan Farm Stag in Shackelford, a three-time grade one winning millionaire, captured the Preakness Stakes at three and the Met Mile and Clark Handicap at four. Watch for Shackelford's first weanlings selling this fall. To Indiana Grand for three-year-old fillies in the grade two Indiana Oaks. Unbridled forever the two-to-one favorite, Bill Downs has the call. On to the far turn, Penwith with the lead. Over, Unbridled Forever is making a move on the turn in second. Tis Windy, drafting behind horses outside in third. Two lengths off the lead, and then about to four lengths to Awesome Jill, who is mid-pack in fourth. Miss Bessie Lou's in fifth, and six lengths off the pace as they arrive at the top of the stretch. Penwith to the inside of Unbridled Forever. Tis Windy has a fighting chance on the outside third. About a length and a half off the lead. And then in fourth, Awesome Jill but seven off the pace. A final furlong to go. Unbridled forever. And here's Tiz Windy. Tiz Windy with a sudden and swift move. Overhauling Unbridled forever for the top spot. And it's Tiz Windy in a league of her own in the Indiana Oaks. Tiz Windy by Windstar Farm Stallion Tiz Now. The winner by two and three quarter lengths over Unbridled forever. Brian Hernandez Jr. up in 142 and three. The first stakes victory for Tis Wendy, who was last seen defeating Allowance Company by four and three quarters at Churchill Downs. The winner was bred in Kentucky by her owner, Jim Taffel, LLC. Trained by Carl Nafsker, Tis Wendy has earned nearly $228,000. Three-year-old stakes action is presented by BC2A Paste. Reduce the likelihood of tying up with BC2A Paste. Next, the Grade 2 Indiana Derby. At Trades, the even money favorite. Once again, here's Bill Downs. The opening half in 48 and four fifths on the far turn. Vickers in trouble with the lead over East Hall and CJ's awesome. And now just call Kenny goes four wide. A couple more lengths to Sami. A trade he's still behind horses and five lengths off the lead as they arrive at the top of the stretch. It's Vickers in trouble who cuts the corner. Still has a lead by a couple of lengths. East Hall's under a drive. Just call Kenny's on the outside third. CJ's awesome fourth. Well inside the final furlong. Vickers in trouble. Rosie Naprovnik imploring this horse for a final 16th. The Ohio Derby champion East Hall striking the front. It's East Hall. An upset in the Indiana Derby. 16 to 1 East Hall runs by Vickers in trouble. The score by a length. Luis Saez aboard the Florida bread in 142 and 1. Winner of the Ohio Derby two starts back. The Bill Kaplan trainee was coming off a sixth place finish in the grade two Super Derby. 
a $23,000 OBS August yearling, and a $55,000 OBS April two-year-old. East Hall has earned $662,000 for Jack Hendricks and Roger Justice. The gelding by Graham Hall was bred in Florida by Mary Kay Hare. Florida breads, race them or chase them. Watch Thoroughbred Week replays online at tbreadweek.com. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with two-year-olds featured in this segment. Juvenile fillies on opening day at Keeneland and the grade one Darley Alcibiade Stakes. Gap year, the two-to-one favorite, Kurt Becker has the call. The first half mile in 45 and three fifth seconds. Here's Fashion Alert now to draw alongside of Take Charge Brandy into the far turn. That's the battle for the lead. Naval Command is third. Less than one length off the leaders. Joined by Calamity Kate, who's fourth up on the far outside. Gap year is fifth and five lengths off the lead toward the center of the track. They're at the quarter pole. Fashion Alert, Take Charge Brandy side by side. Naval Command in third. Calamity Kate is fourth. Top Decile is coming with a run between horses. Top Decile swings toward the outside. Gap year on the grandstand side. Page running late down the center of the racetrack. Mile High Butterfly coming late. Top Decile, Peace and War in behind her. It's wide open. Page on the far outside. Peace and War and Page chasing Top Decile. Top Decile with the lead. Here comes Peace and War. A final try. Peace and War rallies for Julianne Leperu to win the Darley Alcibiades. 23 to 1 long shot, Peace and War by Claiborne Farm Snag and Warfront takes it by half a length of her top decile for a 1 2 finish by Keeneland Sells graduates. Julianne Leperu aboard the Florida Bread in 144 and 4. A first out maiden winner over the all weather track at Lingfield, England, and second sprinting over turf against males at Haydock Park in her latest. Peace and War making her U.S. debut in her first start on dirt. Ollie Stevens trains the winner. Peace and War has earned $250,000 for Qatar Racing. The Darley Alcibiades winner was bred in Florida by Sally J. Anderson. Florida breads, race him or chase him. The filly was consigned by Kaizen Sales, Richard Kent agent, to the 2013 Keeneland September Yearling Sale, where she was purchased by David Rudner's bloodstock for $300,000. Reid once takes with her Peace and War, the Keeneland Sales Graduate of the Week. To Belmont Park for two-year-old fillies in the Grade 1 Frisette Stakes. Offer a runaway victory in the Grade 1 Spinaway Stakes. Condo Commando sent off as the 9-10 to 10 favorite. John Embriel has the call. Cavorting shows the way here. It's cavorting in front by a length over by the moon. Condo Commando rating today on the outside in third, about three lengths from the front. Feathers in between horses. Wonder Gal is down at the rail. Then Cayman Croc and Ring Knocker. As they race around the far turn, Cavorting holding on to the lead, ran a half in 46 seconds. On the outside is By the Moon, who's now right alongside of Cavorting. And now By the Moon has taken the lead from Cavorting. Condo Commando is being asked for more, but three lengths behind By the Moon, who will lead the field to the top of the stretch in the frisette. By the Moon in front, Condo Commando on the outside, and Cavorting down at the rail. Three quarters in one, 11 and two, and By the Moon has the lead over Condo Commando, and now there's a furlong to the finish. It's by the moon still in front. Condo Commando's drifting out. Feathered's coming on through, along with Wonder Gal, a 16th to the finish. By the moon, trying to pull off the upset here. By the moon, turns the tables on Condo Commando and wins the frisette. 24 to one long shot by the moon. The water by two and a half links over Wonder Gal. Jose Ortiz aboard in 139 and two. By the Moon broke her maiden on debut at Saratoga, but was a distant second, beaten 13 lengths by race favorite Condo Commando in the grade one spin away. The filly by Indian Charlie was bred in Kentucky by Samantha Siegel. Trained by Michelle Nevin, By the Moon has earned nearly $420,000 for JMS Stable. Back to Keeneland for the grade one Claiborne Breeders Futurity. Carpe Diem, the two to one favorite. Once again, here's Kurt Becker. 23 and two fifth seconds for the opening quarter and Conquest Tsunami leading Carpe Diem by three parts of a length midpoint of the back stretch. Tough customer in the clear third, but two lengths off the lead. Then WV Jet Setter to the outside. Mr. Z back toward the inside fifth, followed by Charm in sixth position now. Fire Spike is seventh. Bold Conquest between horses eighth is eight lengths off the lead. Hashtag Bourbon still mired in traffic near the back of the back. 48 seconds for the first half mile and up front Carpe Diem is challenging Conquest Tsunami 
Tsunami and Carpe Diem has a head in front. Conquest Tsunami second at the quarter pole. Gap of five more lengths. Mr. Z being ridden along to third down toward the inside, but six lengths off the lead into the short stretch. Final furlong of the Claiborne Breeders Futurity and Carpe Diem has the advantage. Opens up with every stride here. A widening five length margin. Conquest Tsunami second. Mr. Z is third and Carpe Diem has seized the day at Keeneland. He just continues to draw a clear. What an impressive two-year-old Keeneland sales grad Carpe Diem to take it convincingly. Carpe Diem draws off to defeat Mr. Z by six and a quarter lengths for a one-two finish by Keeneland sales graduates. John Velasquez up in 143 and one. The $1.6 million Coast Sales Topper at the OBS March two-year-old sale, Carpe Diem was a sharp maiden winner on debut at Saratoga. The Colt by Giants Causeway was bred in Kentucky by Coffee Pot Stable and originally sold for $550,000 at the Keeneland September Yearling Sale. Trained by Todd Fletcher, Carpe Diem has earned nearly $350,000 for Windstar Farm and Stone Street Stables. Keeneland Stakes Action is presented by Warrendale Sales, offering mares in bold to leading sires, Kitten's Joy, Medallia Doro, Street Cry, City Zip, Pioneer of the Nile, and Into Mischief at the Keeneland November Sale. Back to Belmont Park for the Grade 1 Champagne Stakes. Daredevil, the 8 to 5 favorite. Once again, here's John Embriel. The opening quarter. 22 and 4 5th seconds. Holy Boss holding on to the lead here. Daredevil and I spent it right together. Second and third. The Gray El Kabir is fourth. Upstart is on the move. The New York bred is four lengths from a front running Holy Boss who ran the half in 46 and 1 5th seconds. They're midway around the far turn. Holy Boss. Challenged here by Daredevil, and the two of them are right together. Upstart now moves to third. El Kabir's under the whip, down on the inside, in fourth. I spent it, is dropped out of it, and the truth or else, and they're coming for the top of the stretch, and here's Daredevil to take the lead from Holy Boss. Upstart's on the outside, three quarters in one, 11 and one. It's Daredevil. Devil in front by three. Upstart giving chase in second as they pass the eighth pole. It's Daredevil with a four-length lead. And Daredevil with a sparkling performance here in the Champagne. He's two for two in his young career. Daredevil wins it by three. Daredevil by Windstar Farm Stallion more than ready. The winner officially by two and a half lengths over Upstart. Javier Castellano aboard the Keeneland Sales graduate in 136-3. The second start for Daredevil, who broke his maiden by six and a quarter lengths on debut at Saratoga. The Colt was bred in Kentucky by Marianne and Brandon Chase and was a $260,000 Keeneland September yearling. Another grade one winning juvenile for Todd Pletcher, Daredevil has earned $345,000 for Let's Go Stable. The Spinthrift Farm Stallion of the Week is Malibu Moon, AP Indy's leading star, six years running. Call Des, Mark, or Brian at Spinthrift to schedule your private inspection of Malibu Moon and the rest of the 2015 Spinthrift Stallion roster. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with the Grade 1 Judmon Spinster Stakes just ahead in this segment. We begin with turf fillies and mares at Keeneland in the Grade 1 First Lady Stakes. Folimbi, the 5-2 favorite, Kurt Becker has the call. 47 and two fifth seconds for the first half mile. Is Stanford still the leader? Is Stanford leads it by a length to the far turn to Day at the Spa, who stalks the leader from the second position by a length and a half. And then Somali Lemonade is third up on the outside. Sassy Kitten still there, but still fourth against the rail. Four lengths off the lead. Discreet Mark and Falimbi side by side. Falimbi looking toward the inside. Discreet Mark and Better Lucky have to go wide. Six lengths from the front. And here's Day at the Spa for the lead. Somali Lemonade has to pick it up now because Day at the Spa has gotten by his Stanford and leads it past the eighth pole with Falimbi coming late down toward the rail. Discreet Mark, Better Lucky to the outside. But Day at the Spa has the lead. Falimbi still trying. Better Lucky far outside late run from center court day at the spa takes it for john velasquez day at the spa holds off better lucky by a length and a quarter john velasquez aboard the new york bread in 135 and one the third victory in four starts over the course for the chad brown trainee who ran second by a head to better lucky in this race last year the five-year-old mare by City Zip was bred in New York by Casolari de Crocio stable and partners and was a fifty thousand dollar yearling 
They at the spies banked nearly $1,189,000 for Jerry and Ronald Frankel, Steve Lehman, and Bradley Thoroughbreds. American Produce Records is now available online. Visit brisnet.com slash APR for unlimited access to the pedigrees of more than 3 million thoroughbreds for just $275 a year, now including SAR stats. Next from Keeneland, the grade one Judmont Spinster Stakes. Judmont Farms close hatches, going for her fifth consecutive graded stakes victory, the one to five favorite. Once again, here's Kurt Becker. Up the back stretch in the Judmont Spinster and close hatches the leader. Against the rail, leading it by three parts of a length. Rhea Antonia, second by two lengths. Sharuk travels along in third. Then a gap of three more lengths back to Molly Morgan, fourth, outward from the rail, fourth by a half length. They got lucky. And five more lengths back of that pair to Don't Tell Sophia, the first half mile in 47 and two fifth seconds. And here comes Rhea Antonia again, drawing alongside of close hatches. They're the top two into the far turn. They begin matching strides. Two lengths in front of Sharuk. Rook in third, three more back to Molly Morgan, three back of that one to Got Lucky, and don't tell Sophia last, Rhea Antonia puts a head in front, but Close Hatches is still right there toward the inside. These two off the far turn together, and then three more lengths back to Sharuk. Rhea Antonia from the outside has the lead. Close Hatches is still there, but needs to find more, and here comes Don't Tell Sophia with a big rally on the outside. Don't Tell Sophia had lost contact with the field on the back street and she has taken the lead in the final furlong of the Judmont Spinster. Close Hatches backs up to fourth. Don't tell Sophia and Joe Rocco Jr. to take it. Don't tell Sophia. Rallies from last to defeat Rhea Antonia by two and a half lengths. Joe Rocco Jr. aboard the Keeneland Sells graduate in 149 and four. The third stakes victory this year for Don't Tell Sophia, who was last seen taking the Locust Grove at Churchill Downs. The six-year-old mare by Congaree was bred in Kentucky by Stonerside Stable. It was a bargain $1,000 Keeneland September yearling. Don't Tell Sophia has earned $979,000 for trainer Philip Sims and Jerry Namey. Coming up, the latest grade one victory at Keeneland by the reigning horse of the year. Time now for the feature race of the week presented by Keeneland, investing in racing's future since 1936. To Keeneland for the first million dollar race in the track's history, the grade one Shadwell Turf Mile. Two-time horse of the year wise Dan, the nine to 10 favorite. Here's the call by Kurt Becker. And the Roth. in the million dollar Shadwell Turf Mile, wise Dan breaks last and Silver Max Goes right out for the early lead. Silver Max quickly to the front in the opening strides as per usual. Opens up by two and a half lengths at the entry to the first turn. And Syed will go second as they move around the turn with Grand Arch in third. Optimizer fourth toward the inside. Long shot two notch road and fifth on the outside. Wise Dan has picked up two positions in the opening quarter mile. Moves up from last now into the sixth spot down toward the rail. Just over five lengths from the front. Kaigan behind him and Seek again the trailer. The opening quarter in 24 and two fifth seconds. Silver Max the leader by a length and a half up the back stretch. Syed now just off the leader's flank in second three parts of a length. Grand Arch third up on the outside. Optimizer tucked away fourth against the rail. Two notch road and the clear in fifth. Wise Dan is sixth in between horses. Still four and a half lengths from the leader. Gap of two to Kaigan next to last and seek again content to trail through an opening half mile in 48 and one fifth seconds. And Silver Max the leader into the final turn. Leads it by a length and a half. Syed is second three parts of a length with Grand Arch to the outside third. Optimizer fourth. Two Notch Road is fifth, and now Wise Dan looks for running room, but he's still sixth between horses. Six lengths off the lead, a quarter mile to come, and they've all got to catch Silver Max, who's chased by Syed. Then Grand Arch, Wise Dan comes down the outside. The leader coming to the eighth pole. Here's Syed alongside of Silver Max. Grand Arch, Seek again, diving to the rail. Kaigan coming late. Wise Dan far outside. Wise Dan coming after Syed and Grand Arch. Wise Dan gets his head in front. The first million dollar race in Keeneland history, the Shadwell Turf Mile to Wise Dan with a breathtaking stretch rally. Odds on favorite Wise Dan rallies six wide to defeat Grand Arch by a length. The third grade one victory on the card for John Velasquez. Time of the race, 135 and three. Winner of the Shadwell Mile in 2012, Wise Dan finished second to Silver Max last year when the race came off the turf. That was his only setback in his last 15 starts. 
At the age of seven, and after undergoing college surgery during the spring, the two-time horse of the year continues to amaze. Although guaranteed a spot in the field to go for his third consecutive Breeders' Cup mile victory, Wise Dan is under consideration for the Breeders' Cup Classic by his connections. The gelding by Wiseman's Ferry was bred in Kentucky by his owner, Morton Fink. Wise Dan has won 23 of 31 starts and has a bankroll of nearly $7,553,000. John Velasquez with the Safe Ride of the Week, presented by Sally Horse Fans, the safest way to the winter circle. Wise Dan paid $3.80 to win and is the Malone's Favorite of the Week, presented by Malone's, Lexington's Favorite Steakhouse. We'll have the Grade 1 Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup for three-year-old fillies from Keeneland next week here on Thoroughbred Week. Thoroughbred Week has been presented by Actistatin, Adina Springs, Bloodstock Research, Breeders' Cup, Claiborne Farm, EmpireCityBets.com, Equine Eco Green, Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, Keeneland, Malone's, New York Thoroughbred Breeding and Development Fund, Old Colony Insurance Services, Paul Miller Ford, PBI Bank, Quillen Leather and Tack, Shadwell Farm, Spendthrift Farm, and Windstar Farm. Online at TBreadWeek.com.